For the caster, I'm going to start drawing from front view. And to prevent my drawing from clashing, I'm going to draw a line from somewhere here and move to the right. And I'm going to hide this object. So click this drop down arrow and turn off this bulb. And I'm going to start drawing my caster from this endpoint. So front view. I'm going to start with this one. So C for circle, click the endpoint, type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 2.36. I can erase that now. Another circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option, and enter 1.97, and enter. Now I'm going to draw a line. From quadrant to quadrant, I'm going to use this one to as boundary for trimming. So TR for trim command, enter twice and just window this one and click that. And then join the segment, so J for join command and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I could extrude this object now. Oh, or before doing that, I, I should draw a line here for guide. So L for line from endpoint upward for 1.38. And to your right or left, rather, one unit. And just bring it down somewhere here. Anywhere. Now, I'm going to extrude this object for the thickness. Looking from top view here, if you project this one. So this is the thickness. So extrude command, extrude it for 1.18 and I'm going to move this one, move from endpoint to midpoint. Now I'm going to use circle and then extrude or I could use just primitive. So click this drop down arrow and select cylinder, click the midpoint. Oh, I have to change the plane, so Z, move it upward. So cylinder, midpoint, endpoint, and just snap that endpoint. Alright, now I want to remove this uh, thing thingy inside, so front. And uh, create a circle. C for circle. Snap that center. Snap that in point and extrude this one. And then use subtract command inside the solid editing panel. Select the object you want to keep, maybe this two. And then right click and select the object you want to use to subtract. Can erase it now. Can erase the lines. There you go. And I'm going to bring this to front view. And the next one would be the wheel, which is this one here. Now draw a circle somewhere here and uh, enter 0.98 for radius. Another circle and enter 0.91 for radius. Right click to repeat circle, snap the center, and enter 0.2. Right click, repeat circle, snap the center, and enter 0.1. Now I'm going to draw a line. So this is for the spoke. So line from midpoint up to the quadrant. And I'm going to offset this one. And the thickness of the spoke is up 0.08. I'm going to use offset command. So O for offset. Right click and specify distance. I'm going to use half of 0.08. So it's going to be 0.04. Because I'm going to offset both sides. So click that line. Click
click uh, that side click this line and click this side now we don't need this one now you can erase that and extend so ax for extend command enter twice and just extend it up to that and here and press the shift key to trim so trim and then shift key again to trim this one this one and this one before extruding the spoke join the segments first otherwise it wouldn't work now this is one object and uh, we draw that circle that we use to cut the segments uh, first make sure that you are facing the xy plane so just click this drop down arrow inside the co coordinates panel and click this uh, view all right circle and just snap that um, in point so bring your drawing to southwest isometric or you can manipulate the view by pressing shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and extrude not that one extrude this one this circle and this one for 0.79 so extrude go backward for 0.79 I'm just going to change this to wireframe so it's easier to visualize or maybe x-ray. All right. So what happened here is uh, when you project this front view, you can see the wheel here from the top view and you can tell that the extrusion or the thickness is 0.79. Now, if you look closely, this spoke has a gap from the edge here. 4.08 I'm gonna show you the model so this one here this uh, edge here and this edge so before extruding see this one here so before ex extruding I'm, I'm gonna move this one move towards the z-axis vector or just follow just turn on your ortho mode so it's easier just follow the green dash line and enter point 08 all right now you can extrude this one and just snap anywhere here at the edge of this uh, or the bottom of this uh, sphere there you go now bring your drawing to front view and use array polar so type in array polar select this uh, spoke right click and specify center point of array snap that center right click and select number of items which is eight enter and enter again now i'm gonna if i change this to realistic you cannot see the spoke there so i what i'm gonna do is um apply Okay, I'm gonna change this to X-ray. Apply shell command. So go to solid. Select shell inside the solid editing panel. Select the object you wanna shell. And go down to the command window. Click undo because we have to undo this face so we can see the hole inside. Enter and enter the thickness which is 0 0.08. Enter again and enter again. I'm going to show you what happened here. I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. Now I'm going to remove this thingy inside. So I'm just going to use subtract command. Select the object you want to keep. Right click and select the object you want to use to subtract. Which is this one here. There you go. Now the next thing to do is union the objects to make this into one object so union now this is one object apply fillet or radius on the edge so go to solid and inside the solid editing panel select fillet edge right click select radius option and for the outer radius which is this one here is 0.2 enter Select this edge, enter, 
an intern yan. For the inner radius, which is this one here, the radius is 0.12. So fillet edge, right click, select radius, and enter 0.12. Enter, select this edge, that edge. Enter and enter again. Alright. And the next thing to draw is uh, this one here. Which is this one. We're going to place this in between the two wheels. So uh, bring this drawing to front view. And create another circle with a radius of 0.98. So see for circle. Click anywhere here. And enter 0.98. Cut this into half or trim. So L for line. From quadrant to quadrant. And TR for trim command. Enter twice and just remove this one. I'm going to join the segment. So J for join command. And just join this one. Now I'm going to create another circle from midpoint. And enter 0.2 for radius. Another circle, snap the center, and enter point one. Now I'm gonna extrude this object for so if you project this one from the top view, you can tell that extrusion is point three nine. Inside the modeling panel, select extrude command. And extrude it for point three nine. There you go. And then I'm going to poke a hole through here. So use subtract command. Select the objects you want to keep. These two. And then select the object you want to use to subtract. And the next thing we're going to draw. Is this one is done. This one is done. Is the rod. All right, so I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter of, so D first, type in D, enter, and enter 0.2. No, 0.2. And extrude it for 1.81, which is this one here. So this is extrusion. Now, I'm going to assemble the objects. So, what I'm going to do is uh, place this one first. Move from center to the face here. See that, uh, okay, center. Just hover on the side to snap, to snap that center. I think we're good. And then, attach this one. Move. Attach the center of this uh, hole. See that circle? Snap that. And snap it. I changed this first to polar tracking. Okay. And then snap it to the center of this circle. So shift right click. Snap the center. See that uh, circle symbol? And then uh, what I'm going to do is bring this to right view. And then I'm just going to mirror this wheel. So type MI for mirror command. Select this wheel. Right click and specify first point of mirror line. Locate the center of this object here. Move your cursor upward. Make sure it's straight. Click anywhere there. And just enter. Now to check if there is clashing of objects. Go to solid. Select uh, inside the solid editing panel. Select interfere. And we do the whole thing. Enter and enter again. And you can see here it says objects do not interfere. So we're good. Now I'm going to attach this one to the midpoint here. So here. Because I want it centered. So I want this uh, quadrant here. Alright. So select the object. Move. 
and select the midpoint here and attach it to the mid midpoint of this object shift right click and select uh, midpoint option snap now I'm gonna check again for interference so interfere objects do not interfere so we're good I'll show you when objects interfere okay I'm gonna move this one a little bit there and then use interfere command interfere oh select the objects enter and enter again and you can see here so this uh, red one is the interference I'm just gonna close this one and undo this one all right and the next uh, oh I'm just gonna for the thread I'm just gonna poke a hole I'm not gonna do the thread now because it's um it takes a long time to do that so I'm just gonna make a hole here or just a rod okay circle but change first the direction of your z axis vector so z move it upward because I'm gonna use this plane as my xy plane and uh, circle snap the center type d for diameter option and enter 4 I mean 0.44 so I'm gonna I'm gonna change that so diameter is 0.44 to change it just double click here you go and extrude this one for 0.88 0.88 and enter and I'm gonna change this to realistic Now this drawing is done. So uh, the next one would be the seat of the chair and I and the arm also. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. I'll see you again.